רבותיי, שלום וברכה, בעזרת השם נמיר את הצדיק אבי חיים פינטר, נמיר את עוד צדיקים, הקדוש ברוך הוא בלס אורן טייר קהילה, עוד ברכה נצלחה, נציאת הנשמיה הגדולה, מהקדוש ברוך הוא בלס אורן טייר קהילה, עוד ברכה נצלחה, נציאת הנשמיה הגדולה, מהקדוש ברוך הוא בלס אורן טייר קהילה, עוד ברכה נצלחה, נציאת הנשמיה הגדולה, מהקדוש ברוך הוא בלס אורן טייר קהילה, עוד ברכה נצלחה, נציאת הנשמיה הגדולה, מהקדוש ברוך הוא בלס אורן טייר קהילה, עוד ברכה נצלחה, נציאת הנשמיה הגדולה, מהקדוש ברוך הוא בלס אורן All our hearts wishes and come to bring us to a place of complete redemption. Amen. Amen. You know, but I, Bezat Hashem, tonight it's going to be the holy holiday of Shavuot. When we think about Shavuot, a lot of the time we have this assumption that Shavuot is a day of remembrance. A day that occurred in the past, something good, and now we all come upon this date and we celebrate what happened then in Egypt, whenever it was. Rather, the Zohar Kadosh teaches us something that I think is very important for us to understand when approaching such an important holiday. Shavuot is not a Chag of Remembrance. Rather a Chag that has influence and the ability of change within our life. Very often when we think about Chagim that represent change, we think about Rosh Hashanah, we think about Pesach, we think about different Chagim. And we don't see Shavuot to be the Chag it truly is. And this is what I think it's, all, it's very important for all of us to truly understand what it's like. We see that there's a pattern throughout the world. Whenever HaKadosh Baruch Hu brings down something to our lives and gives us something, that date doesn't just stand as a remembrance, but rather as the date in which HaKadosh Baruch Hu re-evaluates that gift that was given to us. Just to give a very simple example. It's like our birthdays. It's a custom in the Minhag that when it's a person's Jewish birthday, he prays and asks for a Kaddush Baruch Hu for a life of Panasa, of Atzlacha, of Fua, of Zivug, of, of, of all the most beautiful things. Why we pray on our birthday? What's the relevance? What's the importance? What's the meaning behind praying on such a date? And the answer is very simple. On that date, a Kaddush Baruch Hu gave you your body and your life. And on that date, a Kaddush Baruch Hu reinstates it. Re-gives it to you. A Kaddush Baruch Hu is beyond time. So that every single year, Aleph Ba'adar, it will always be Aleph Ba'adar. And Aleph Ba'adar, your life was given to you. And Aleph Ba'adar, your life will always be given to you. The idea is that we ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu, now that you are reinstating my life, make it a life of Panasah, Vatzlacha, Nishu'ah, and all what we wish for. Whenever we return back to a date when something was given to us, it gets reevaluated. We see the same thing in Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is a date that HaKadosh Baruch Hu created Adam. He gave us the world. He gave us our life. Rosh Hashanah is also the date that HaKadosh Baruch Hu re-evaluates our world and re-evaluates our life. He reinstates it. Being that He reinstates it, it's our chance and opportunity to do what? To try to change it. To try to make it better. To try to make it um, more in our favor than it was initially. Returning back to the date, re-evaluating what was given. Shavuot is a date that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the Torah, but more importantly gave us our Nishama and gave us the root of who we are, that attachment to Him, the at attachment that we are seen as His children. Every single year, with no difference to any sort of gift that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us, HaKadosh Baruch Hu re-evaluates it and reinstates it. Many of the Mekubalim hold Shavuot to be a Chag that is even more impactful within our life than Rosh Hashanah. Where Rosh Hashanah, we are judged based off our actions, based off what we did, and based off what we will receive physically. Shavuot, we are judged based off of our neshama, how big our neshama is, whether or not our neshama will be an important neshama, if our neshama will be heard when it prays for something, if that neshama will have a mazal of panasa, of refua, of happiness, or of God forbid of suffering. The difference between Shavuot is it is not a re-evaluation of our physical life, but rather so much deeper of who, what makes us who we are within that truly sets the stage for the reality of who we are to the world. Shavuot Abotai is a Chag of true change, of true Yeshua, and of true Geula. We even gave a class of, uh, last week where we said anyone that thinks that the Geula was on Pesach is mistaken. The Geula has nothing to do with Pesach. Our Geula that we are praying for and we are waiting for, and even the one that occurred was always meant to be on Shavuot and always occurred on Shavuot. And we explained and we went to length of the, coming to that place of understanding. Abotai, the descent of the Torah, the coming of the Torah, the coming of our Nishama, and all its spiritual um, entities that come with it, 
it's all coming to our lives tonight. We should all really brace ourselves, prepare ourselves, and really be a keli to receive all what um, HaKadosh Baruch Hu um, could potentially give us. Abutai, Shavuot is a date of true inspiration to change our lives from inside out. Let's make it count, Bezrat Hashem. Let's make it an impactful Shabbat. Let's make it a Shabbat that will shake the heavens in order to truly bring a year of Geula in our lives. So Bezrat Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, give everyone big bracha and tzlacha and siyata dishmaya, chag sameach. We love our entire kila and we are praying, Bezrat Hashem, to you only Yeshua, and brachot, amen, kinyat, amen.